Now I'm going to show you some real, real world applications in terms of how to use some of the internal effects that come with Cubase. Now Cubase comes with an array of very professional effects such as compression, distortion, reverb, delays, EQ, you name it, the whole nine yards. And they're actually from version four. They're quite good. They're very professional sounding. But there may be times when you become the world-class producer we know you're on the road to, you may want to use some third-party applications as well. We're going to show you how to do both. So we're going to start the song and focus on the bass for a minute. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the bass needs to be tightened up a bit. What that means is that the dynamics of the bass, in order to help it sit in the mix better, need to be tightened up a bit. No recording program does that automatically for you. And you really wouldn't want it to. So let's click on Edit Audio Channel Settings for the bass channel. And we've loaded two different compressors, one internal and one third party. Let's click on the compressor made by Steinberg that comes with it. And it's turned on right now. And I've changed the settings a little bit. Let's have a listen. And I'm going to make some setting changes as it's being played. So this is to give you an idea of how you would go about working with tracks individually. 